Video has been growing really fast. We all know it's uh, kind of the most exciting format in media today. Uh, but the majority of video viewing has been on social media, where there are really poor unit economics and you lose control of your audience if you're a media company or a marketer. So what we built is a white label solution. It's a suite of APIs that utilizes artificial intelligence to create a personalized viewing experience for every viewer. So for major media companies who have tens of thousands of videos, millions of viewers, we match the right video to the right viewer in real time. A lot like Pandora for video, but we're licensing that to major media companies to help them dramatically increase viewership on their owned and operated properties. So tell us how that works or some best use cases that you could share with us. Sure. So uh, we ingest uh, the archive uh, from a publisher and we look at all of that content, all the metadata on that content, and we structure and classify it so that the content is more easily discoverable over time. And then we uh, install the APIs in the video player. So uh, if you ever see skip buttons, thumbs up, thumbs down, pop-ups telling you what's coming up next, most likely that it's Iris TV. And uh, as a result of knowing kind of anonymously what a viewer is watching, what device they're on, where they are, and um, kind of the business rules and kind of the content, you're able to create a personalized stream of video. So for uh, companies like Time Inc., uh, we've seen huge increases in creating personalized streams of, say, you know, sports on Sports Illustrated. And the uh, Sports Illustrated team has, has done a phenomenal job leveraging business rules to basically create personalized streams and channels on their website. Uh, and they're so good at catch up sports, it's just grown their, their viewership dramatically. So tell us how big you guys are, like the amount of video that you ingest or the referrals you make, or how do you quantify the scope of what you're doing? So we're processing billions of data events per day um, and seeing uh, several hundred million video views through the platform um, kind of on a monthly basis and uh, processing, honestly, um, just a, a huge volume. Some of our customers alone have over a million videos. So the archive and just the, the volume of viewership that we're dealing with is, is massive. It's a huge catalog. The biggest difference from someone like a, a YouTube or a Facebook is on YouTube you have a ton of content, but all the data is unstructured. We could put this video up on YouTube and not add any metadata. And so then it's very hard to find it. So the way that uh, YouTube and Google has created a, a recommendation engine is if you click on that video and another one, they create a link. And that link then allows them to recommend it to other users. Uh, at Iris TV, we leverage technology like that, but also a suite of other machine learning systems. And from having uh, rich data sets that we create, uh, we're able to generate significantly better results. Cool. And it works in all players? Will it work in the YouTube player as well? Or? Uh, so YouTube and Facebook are some of the only video players we don't work with, uh, but it's a white label solution that works with just about every other video player. So all the ma major OVPs you see in the market. Cool, and um, I guess my question is, in terms of if, if you go to look at a video, how many people want to see a related video or stand by to watch a related video in the stream? Is that something What's behavior around that and how might it be changing? Okay, so uh, on a kind of monthly basis for a typical customer, we'll see a 70% increase in views. So if you're doing 10 million views a month, you can expect that we'll take you to 17, uh, which is really significant, right, if you're selling all that ad inventory. Now, for your average pu publisher, um, viewers who come to their site, about 80% of their audience will actually leave before the first video ends. That's typical. So 20% of their viewership is actually there to say watch a lot more politics or you know, is in love with Beyonce and wants to watch as much as they can or you know, wants to find out the latest on some international news event. For those audience members, they'll stick around and watch another video. And basically like science, Iris TV is able to kind of consistently drive another four to eight videos for those kind of super users we call them.